Rumor has it that Angie has made personal assurances to Celtic loan target Vinicius Souza of guaranteed game time with Celtic. Just when we thought the board had changed, Celtic star Josip Juranovic is expected to leave Celtic this summer. Our Champions League standard player, and we plan to sell him. First, the transfer guru told supporters that Josip Juranovic was likely being sold this summer if the right bid comes in and now he's reporting the hotter to Celtic deal looks like it's finally a goer. Refugees welcome. Is the new graffiti on the wall on Celtic Park thanks to the Green Brigade. And it's magic. It's magic. Did you see what I just did? Finish the lyrics in the comments if you did. Rumor has it that Angie has made personal assurances to Celtic loan target Vinicius Souza of guaranteed game time with Celtic as the Celtic manager looks to fend of competition from the player's representative's first-choice destination of the Eredivisie, with both PSV, Eindhoven and Ajax now said to be in the mix when it comes to signing the Brazilian defensive midfielder in this transfer window. PSV is the apparent preferred destination for those planning their client's next career step, but this is at odds with his current employer, as the City Group's preference for where Sousa plays his football next season has Celtic top of their list, with Champions League football. With midfield earmarked as a key position for strengthening at Celtic, in this transfer window, but with substantial outlays already made on Cameron Carter-Vickers following his loan spell from Spurs turning into a permanent arrangement, and another £6 million plus about to be spent to ensure Jota, returns to Celtic, as a permanent acquisition, following his temporary move from Benfica last season. It appears Celtic are willing to grasp the opportunity to bring in a top-quality player that the club may otherwise be unable to afford, even if it only likely to be for a year, and are doing everything they can to persuade Vinicius Souza that Celtic is the ideal place for the Brazilians' talents to flourish next season. Now just when we thought the Celtic PLC had changed. Celtic star Josip Juranovic is expected to leave Celtic this summer, according to Italian transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. The Croatian right-back only arrived at Celtic last summer and has stormed the league since. He's been a star in the Celtic side this season and has more than played his part in the title success. The news comes as a shock to Celtic fans, who were comfortable that no stars would depart this summer. We all know that Angie won't keep players at the club if they don't want to be here, and will be quick to show them the door, but for this to happen so suddenly is undoubtedly a shock. He's been a great player this season, playing on both sides of the defence and on the wing when the Celtic squad was hampered by injury. Brendan Rodgers has been rumoured to be interested in the Croatian international for some time, even watching him in the flesh against Dundee United when he played the second half. It's thought that Juranovic's next destination will be the Premier League. Celtic fans have been on a roller coaster ride thanks to Fabrizio Romano. First, the transfer guru told supporters Josip Juranovic was likely being sold this summer if the right bid comes in and now he's reporting the Jota to Celtic deal looks like it's finally a goer. Celtic have confirmed to Benfica their intention to trigger the buy option clause to sign Jota on a permanent deal in the next few days. Benfica are now prepared to receive 7.5 million euros for 70%, just waiting for the player to discuss contract details with Celtic. The winger has been on his travels this summer, seemingly with not a care in the world after he helped the boys to a title triumph. The club tend to leak things to their favourite journalists, especially if they see supporters getting ahead of themselves on a particular transfer deal. If Celtic were down on the move happening, they'd have leaked the information. All signs are good. And all things in Celtic Park are good. The Green Brigade have been in Section 111 since 2006. And what a journey the group has had over the years. Check out my early years Green Brigade playlist at the end of this video. Yesterday, the North Curve Twitter released this. Refugees welcome. Green Brigade have weekly access to Parkhead during the season. And monthly meetings with the club, even weekly phone calls. 
It's fantastic the Celtic fan group could display a classy message, which is dearly needed in today's society. The graffiti in the stadium reminded fans of how Celtic was founded and that the message shouldn't be lost in today's society, despite the UK government's inhumane immigration policy. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party.